How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus. Today I'm going to review for Marvel Legends Ant Man Wasp Quantumania, Ant Man, and Crossfire. Now, yeah, these are a little older. We know Quantumania came out way long ago, like last year. Two years ago. Whatever. It's been a while since. And i never seen these in retail. I would see other people's. Toy hunts. And. They would find these. They would be. Ton oh, they would show. Crossfire and Egghead and almost the whole wave just sitting there on the shelves at like the Walmarts or Targets. I never saw them. Only place I saw them was at uh, Sergeant Red's over in Utica here in Michigan. They had them when they first came out. That was like the only time I seen them in stores, in these stores, in person. Got both of these at Ollie's. Hopefully the rest of the wave will show up because they've been dropping a couple figures from each of the several different waves that I never found, never picked up, ne or never saw. But I'm happy to have these two. Let's see, you got the figure on the front plus some artwork. Artwork right there. Cross cell right there, and the figures on the back. The accessories and legal bullshit there and there. We're gonna have the cross cell. Okay, there's Marvel's Wasp, so that's Hope Van Dyne. We got the MCU King and Conqueror. We got a new Ultron. We got a new Egghead. Or we got an Egghead. Crossfire. So this one. Future Ant Man and regular Ant Man is not on the side of the box, so he's like a one off, no build a figure piece, which kind of sucks, but is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get open these guys up and check them out. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. So here we have Crossfire and Ant-Man out of the box. And they both look really good. I'm going to take a look at Crossfire first. Put Ant-Man back there. Now this is... <sighs> this is Darren Cross. You know, he was... Yellow Jacket in the first Ant-Man movie. And he was Modoc in the third one. This is a comic book version of him. He was known as Crossfire. See he's got the. Thing in his eye. He's basically like. I want to say a hired hitman. Uh tech guy he fought Hawkeye a couple times in the comics a few times actually because Hawkeye actually ended up working for his technolo technology company or some technology company that I think it's called Cross Industries or something like that but he didn't know he was working for a super villain Uh oh, got the white stripe on the head and on the chest, white belt, white detailing on the wrists and on the lower half of the legs, the targeting thing on his 
head. His head can rotate 360, he can look down that much, can look up that much. He's got butterfly joints. Does he? Feels like he should, but I don't think he does. But he does have a swivel in the upper arm. He's got a very generous elbow bend. It's got the pins in it, but I know. Is what it is. And the hands rotate left, right, up, down, and roll 360 on each side. He can do a T pose too. And the arms can go 360. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't remember. Eh. He's got a rocker in the chest. Waist swivel. Leg can kick up. Can't really kick back. Can't do a super kick. Could probably extend out a little more, but I'm not going to force it. There's an upper thigh swivel. Knees can bend that far back. I'm not going to force it to go back any farther. There's a boot cut there, and the feet can go left, right, and out, back and forth. Pretty good. So he's a pretty decent figure. He comes with a few accessories. Uh, first, I'll just get it out of the way. Here's Stature's leg. It's the left leg. And hopefully we'll get more parts for her. Later. He comes with two punchy hands. He's got the rifle and the strap for the rifle. I'm not 100% sure how that's supposed to go on there. The gun is made of black plastic. And the strap is white plastic. I don't know how this is supposed to go on. Yeah, so this is supposed to look on to here. I don't know. I don't know how that's supposed to go on. He also comes with you see, it kind of goes right in hands pretty decently. And he's got this uh, blast effect. I'm just going to plug right in there. And 
the smoking effect. Let's put it back there. And now with Ant-Man, he did not come with any bills for your pieces. So, it's fine. He's got a rolling thing right in the middle of the waist. His head can go 360, can go down, can go up. You can do a T-pose. Arm can rotate 360. Bend at the elbow with pinless joints in the elbows. And his hands can go 360, right up, down. He can kick out that fire, can't really kick back that fire. Can do a very nice super kick. Pinless knees, upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. And the feet can go left, right, back and forth. So, pose really, really good. You can see the detail in the reds, the silvers, and the black, of course, of the belt. You can even see the eyes in behind the lenses there. The helmet. I think that's a great touch. Only things he comes with is this open hand, so like that, and one pointing hand, like that, and an unmasked head sculpt. And Paul Rudd. Let's see, you're gonna see if uh, the other. Ant-Man has a uh, other other Ant-Man I have. Let's see if his head skull fits under this body, because that always is a fun thing to do. Uh, like I said, no build figure, and he didn't really have a lot of weapons. Was this one a, like a Target exclusive or something, or Walmart exclusive? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to flip this around and give you my final thoughts in just a moment. Okay, so I figured out uh, the other end of the strap is actually not connected together. You just slide it through then slide it back in. And there we go. I don't know how I missed that, but it is what it is. Uh, both these figures are pretty decent. I mean, this Darren Cross, I mean, he was the villain in the first Ant-Man movie. Uh, this is his comic book version. So if you like the comic book versions of the MCU characters, he's good. This is a great updated version of Ant-Man. Uh, I like it. I like how the new head sculpt is with the translucent Visor or goggles, but the translucent lenses on the head sculpt, so you can see his eyes on the inside. Posability. Only thing I wish is that it came with like a smaller version of Ant Man. Maybe one that's maybe the size of a oh, that's a bad one, like a hand head. Uh, one of these hands, just so that it could be like, hey, that's a smaller version of him. It's been shrunk down to a tiny video version. Yeah. Is what it is. I still would like that uh, reissue of the build a figure. Anyway, you might be able to find these at normal retail, but I was just run to your local alleys and get these because these are great figures i give them both nine out of ten they're solid uh he's kind of a deep cut just because he's a c-list villain in the comics he's 
He's a sniper. He used technology. Uh, mercenary for hire. Blah, blah, blah. But it's a, he's a good shelf filler, I guess. And the Ant-Man is a really good Ant-Man. Uh, go to your alleys and get them. They, hopefully the whole wave is going to be showing up. Where is else in the wave? Definitely want the Egghead. I'm not too keen. I don't really care two shits about the Ultron and the Kang. The Kang will be a... Uh, MCU version and Ultron. I mean, I have I mean, how many Ultrons can I have? I mean, I got MCU. I'm pretty sure I got the MCU one. I have the What If Ultron Vision hybrid. I have a comic version of Ultron. That's just another comic version of Ultron. Oh well. First Future Ant Man and Wasp are a definite must. I'm not going to get the whole wave if I can. I can find them in, at Ollie's. I'll grab them all because I do want to put together stature. Among others. <sighs> but, uh, definitely hit up your local Ollie's for new figures. If you've missed any of the recent Marvel Legends ways, which I am several ways behind, which is fine. Because there's some that just really don't care. I mean, the Puff Adder wave. I don't care about the build a figure, and there's a few of the characters. I mean, I have the Iron Man for that one. I'm getting off track. If you like Ant Man, I enjoyed all three Ant-Man movies. I don't care if anybody's like, oh, the second one was horrible, the third one was horrible, they're all horrible. Man, man, man. I don't care. I enjoyed them. That's all that matters to me. Uh, if you didn't enjoy them, that sounds more like a you problem. But if you like this video, if you like these figures, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe. Whack that bell for notifications. And just remember to keep in those toy aisles. See you guys next time. Later.